Ah, it's good to be at sea again, but I don't much like that sky. Even a pretty sunrise is a bad omen to you, Mr. Faulkner. Where are these raiders? By guessing by God, an easterly course toward the coast. Miss Mandy reports of some British boats gathering somewhere in these rocks, threatening the vineyard. British gunboats after one of the vineyard ships, Captain. We must protect her. Draw their fire, Captain. We need to keep the gunboats off until she reaches the vineyard pier. Protect the civilian ship! Destroy them or use them to our advantage. Either way, avoid the blasted things. To our advantage, how?
She should be safe now, but it's a hot chase. Get after them and end the threat on the vineyard. They've veered north. Not there, but an abandoned fort. shouldn't be there. Well, it is there, Mr. Faulkner. And it's too close to the vineyard. Time to tide waits for no man. Take out her towers. Don't hit us with you in the hell. We can't take another hit like that, Captain. Steer away from them. troubling anybody no more. Bloody English have gone too far this time. That is the problem. What reason would the English have to threaten Martha's Vineyard? It has no strategic value and its people remain peaceful. I fear an influence of a different kind saw to this. Templars. But what they intend I do not know. Your orders? I need time to piece things together. We set a course for home. Aye, aye. Do you trust her? With my life, Captain. <gasps> ah, hello. Name's Amanda. You must be the captain. Now, what's all this about, then? You stride into my bar off the piss and looking for officers. Days later, I start hearing whispers the ghost of the North Seas stalks the Atlantic again. The Aquila has returned, and I need her help. Nicholas Biddle now sails for the Patriots, captaining the Randolph. 
But the man is raiding up and down the coast round Nantucket, claiming it's a loyalist post. Where is he now? Speak of the devil. Head below deck, Mandy. It's safer there. I want to see this myself. Randolph is attacking a merchant vessel not far from here. Your orders. We need to find out what Biddle intends, but we must hurry. What else do you know of Biddle? All of a sudden, Congress has a brand new ship for him to captain. From British coxswain to captain of a colonial flagship, Something doesn't add up. Heavy gust, Captain! Hard counter! That wind will push us hard up those rocks! Veer off! There's a storm coming, Captain. Feels like a big one. Well done, sir. That could have been ugly. Another captain. She's all yours. Turn sail. Do we chase him? We cannot leave this merchant vessel to the mercy of the English. Why is Biddle doing this? Nantucket is for the Patriots! The company he keeps tells me his true allegiance lies elsewhere.
A salute to us, sir. They're safe. What now? Pursue the Randall. by the cut of their jibs. Where's the Randolph? He's gone, sir. Cut and run. Left us to deal with this rabble. But this storm concerns me a great deal more. We have little choice. Aye. Time you shot between the waves, sir. Then we must find shelter, or it won't be cannon fire that ends us. Timing, Captain. I'd say it's high time we find some cover from this storm, Captain. I agree, Mr. Faulkner. We make for the vineyard. I have never seen weather like that. It's rare, but it happens. You did well. What's bothering me is Biddle's a patriot now. Why is he helping the British Navy like that? Old friends, maybe? Well, how would you convince the Continental Congress the Navy needs more ships? The rash of British raiding the coast is reason enough to address the gripe. Gunboats at the vineyard, now this. Hmm. Biddle aims to be the first admiral of the Colonial Navy and is making a case for the need. That was some deft sailing, Captain. I was watching from the gun deck. What were you doing on the gun deck? I told you to stay out of harm's way. I'm fine, Bobby, not to worry. The people of Nantucket are surely grateful. And so am I. Glad you're back. 